Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called for new elections and the removal of Bibi Netanyahu as prime minister, and now he's being backed up by other Democrat leaders. What happened to the alliance between Israel and the United States? Claire, Chuck Schumer, a couple weeks ago, and I think we talked about this, uh, made an unprecedented speech on the floor of the Senate calling for uh, the removal of the head of state, duly elected democratically head head of state in Israel, Bibi Netanyahu, um, called him a friend, said, time to go. We want you out. I, I don't remember that ever happening in American history ever. It's an unprecedented interference in Israeli internal politics. And now Biden is making it very clear that Bibi is no longer welcome, but other uh, members of is the Israeli government are allowed to come to Washington, even without the prime minister's permission to talk to American officials. It seems like we, the United States, are very heavily up to our necks in Israeli politics. And at the same time, internally in Israel, Bibi is wildly unpopular right now because he hasn't won the war yet. And um, he's been cautious when poll after poll after poll says, go wipe out the hostage takers and bring us back the hostages. And Bibi's being blamed for this plodding along. And now that the withdrawal has taken place, he would lose in a landslide. What's the American strategy? I mean, are they, are they the Democrats in Washington, really, really going to force the Israeli hand and call for elections outside of the country? No, you know, that that kind of interference in the internal domestic political affairs of of our friend and ally Israel, that is inexcusable. And you're right that it is unprecedented as far as I know either too. But, you know, as far as what's going on inside of Israel, yes, the majority of the Israeli people very much want uh, the IDF to continue and complete its operations in Gaza to remove the threat of Hamas from ever again threatening, you know, the citizens, the people of Israel, the, the state of Israel. I think that the government uh, right now, the Likud party, which um, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu heads, remains quite popular, actually. They are not on the same wavelength as our Democrat party spokespeople like Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. They're not on that same wavelength at all. From the, the polling that I've seen inside of Israel, were you know elections to take place now, which by the way, they should not. I mean, th th that needs to be postponed until after the war is finished in Gaza. But were it to take place, Bibi and, and Likud would win by a landslide. The people are solidly behind them. Yes, they want them to continue not to pause, no ceasefire, and, and continue through to Rafah and finish off the remaining battalions of Hamas there. From what I'm, t what I'm able to see is that the Israeli people are as united behind their government and behind the purpose of, of defending the, the Jewish state of Israel from Hamas more than they've ever been, perhaps. And you know, it's curious about that, uh, on that dichotomy between politicians and army military intelligence people like yourself, the people that are informed that really know what Israel is facing around the world, and I mean this literally, country after country, when they talk to the military intelligence people, they're all saying the same thing. If Israel stops and lets Hamas remain, they've lost the war and Hamas will do it again. They must finish with exterminating all remnants of this terror group. It's the politicians that for some reason ignore the, the wisdom coming from the people that know how to deal with terror. No different than when Trump came into office and said, we will destroy and wipe out ISIS. You leave them. Yeah, you're right about that. And it exactly. Exercises. You leave a little bit of cancer and in three years, the body's dead. And, and that's the situation Israel's in. It, it definitely is. And I think that the leadership and the people of Israel understand that. And whatever the pause is currently for the time being, I am convinced that the intent, the purpose, the objective of the, the government of Israel, the leadership of the IDF and so forth, they fully intend to go back in as necessary, however they plan the operations to take out the remaining Hamas uh, battalions. Quick um, uh, note, uh, just today, not sure if you saw this, but uh, breaking news earlier this afternoon here, 
uh, where I am, three sons of Hamas leader, uh, Ismail Haniya, who's living in the lap of luxury in a, some hotel in Doha, Qatar, as well as some grandchildren were taken out earlier today in uh, the, uh, what is it called, the Al-Shati Al refugee camp uh, in southern Gaza. So the operations continue, and it's especially these targeted operations. Maybe that's where this is going, you know, more than a full-on, complete, all-out offensive, but more precision strikes. And maybe that's what they need some time with for, you know, to prepare for that.